more advanced variations of gentle spine waves once you've memorized and internalized the basic form of gentle spine waves. Taking the standard working position of gentle spine waves on your back, knees up, hands draped over your hip bones so the hip bones fit in the grooves of the heels of your hands. That's your position. And here's the variation. As you do gentle spine waves, you press the back of your head down and maintain very constant pressure through the back of your head as you go through the rest of the movements. And you feel the two ridges of the sacrum in back. And as you rock your pelvis, you intend to rock evenly on both of those ridges at the same time. This while maintaining constant head pressure, mild head pressure, not heavy head pressure. Now, you may start out, because you don't know what this is supposed to feel like, pressing fairly hard in order to get just any kind of sensation at all. But as you begin to sense what's going on in the back head pressure, you can decrease the amount of pressure just to the amount you're, that you're able to feel while you do the rest of gentle spine waves. Here's the next variation, which is simply this. You slow down more and more and more as you do the gentle spine waves. Slow will get you more than fast. Again, while maintaining very even head pressure. And here's yet another variation, and that is you begin an alternation of pressing and slightly lifting your head so that you have a very mild bobbing, not a bouncing even, just a rise and fall of your head, pressing down a little bit and barely lifting off. And as you do that action pattern with your head waving forward and back, you gradually increase the arch of your back to some comfortable limit while you mm, wave your head forward and back in this way. And as you continue to wave your head forward and back, lifting and pressing, you gradually flatten the low back curve, maintaining the up and down movement of your head and feeling how that movement affects your flattening out of your back curve. Now, there is something to discern about that. There is something specific that you'll notice, which is that the ease with which you make the back arching or flattening movements ties in with the rhythm of your head gently pressing down and gently lifting up. The wave movement of the head is transmitted down through your back, and it affects the ease with which you can either arch or flatten. So that's all we have today on gentle spine waves. This is for substitution. Once you've got the basic gentle spine waves down and you know it easily and you can do it well, then you switch into these variations. It would be good to start with the basic spine waves, maybe one or two repetitions, and then go into one of these variations, or more if you wish. And that's all.